This is my Derwent carry-all bag in which I store all the drawing and coloring supplies that I use on a regular basis and uh, I'm going to show you the inside of the, it right now. So here it is, the bag. It is a uh, canvas bag and as far as I know it is only available in this uh, cakey brown color and this is what it looks like when I open it. Here in the front there is a mesh zipper bag in which I store all kinds of stuff. For instance, because I take my coloring equipment everywhere, I take this plastic bag with me where I can put in all the stuff that comes from the pencils when I uh, sharpen them. It looks a bit silly maybe, but uh, so far it works for me. This is my pencil sharpener. It is a really uh, cheap one. The brand is called Ux. It's German, but you can buy it uh, here in the Netherlands uh, just in many stores. This is my tiny tripod. So this is what I use uh, to put my phone on when I want to make the close-ups in the video tutorials. This is the pencil it's called the Perfection from Faber-Castell and it is actually an eraser and um, you can sharpen it so it will gradually uh, become shorter and then eventually it will fit my carry-all bag but uh, at this point it is uh, it is too long to fit look show you oh it is fitting right now <laughs> Until a week ago we didn't, but it, uh, well, let's give it a place right now, so. Then I have here, this is a permanent marker. I do not use this very often, but it is in my bag. And I have two more erasers, this Faber-Castell eraser. It's very handy because of the sharp edge and I have a tiny bit of a very old eraser that is still working uh, pretty well. There's another eraser here. I got uh, this one with uh, the Stedler Norris Club pencils. It came with that, but I haven't used it. Then there is one spare Stedler pigment liner, point zero point one. It is the pigment liner that I used. I use most often. And this is the same brand that um, that Joanna Besford is using for beautiful coloring books. And then we have this one. It's a tiny, tiny screwdriver. I, I used it to change the sharpening blades on my sharpener. But that was before I bought this little one. And for, I don't know why, but this very cheap Dukes sharpener just stays sharp so I haven't uh, I didn't need to change the blade so far now let's take a look to the rest of the 
back. So in the first page, I call it pages. I believe these pages are called leaves with all these slots to put your pencils in. Here on the first page I have two graphite pencils, a 2H and a 4H and I use them for making my sketches. This is the Faber-Castell eraser pencil and I use that pretty often for erasing uh, small areas. This one is a Derwent burnisher and to be honest I've never used it because I just I'm, I don't feel like the burnisher effect really adds something to my drawings although I do like the results I see on the internet but um, so far I haven't uh, used it now here I have the five pigment liners and there are more these all have different sizes the tip of the pens have a different size the largest one I have is 0.7 and then I have a 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.1 and a 0 0.05 and a 0 0.1 and a 0 0.05 are the two that I use most often then the, I have three whites this is the famous luminance white from uh, Carandash, and this is the white from Polychromos, Faber-Castell, and this is the white from the Brownsville. Now, when I just bought this pencil bag, uh, I think it was about a year ago, I stored my colored pencils brand by brand so all my brownsville pencils were together and all my polychromos pencils were together but um, i am using these pencils together so in the last tutorial that i've been making i'm using both both brown brownsville and uh, faber castell pencils so i decided to reorganize and organize all the colors, uh, all the pencils on color and not on pencil brand. So all the whites are together, all the blacks are together, and then all the grays are together also. Now there are some colors that do not fit um, the color scale like this one. And I don't like that because it doesn't look neat, it doesn't look beautiful and I always want things to look beautiful. But this is not the most beautiful way to store my pencils, but it is the most practical way. So I decided to go for it. So this is uh, the wooden pencils are all the brown tails. And the ones that are completely covered in color are the Faber-Castell Polychromos. Here are the browns and the reds. And then we go back to the pinks and the yellows. Now there is one problem with this carry all back and that problem occurs here here this is the problem so these slots are all stitched to get a stitch so it is one large elastic band and then it is stitched but over here the stitching broke now this has happened to me before, so I have somewhere done my own stitching in these uh, leaves, but at this point it is happening again. 
And I already made a review about this Derwent Carry All Bag. It is on my uh, on my blog. And actually, I absolutely love this bag. It is so practical. But this is not so nice, and it didn't happen in the first few months. So it is not in my review. So this is one thing to take into consideration if you want to uh, order this bag. This could happen. Now there are, here is another Carandas uh, Luminance pencil and I also put it in uh, where it belongs color wise. The greens uh, are one of my favorites, so this one is getting very small. That is why I bought this Caron Darche as a replacement for this one. And here are the greens. Now I need to reorganize them because I do not like the way the colors are organized. I really always like it to look like a perfect rainbow, but uh, you know, sometimes I pick several pencils from the from the bag, and then I am in a hurry and put them back uh, quickly, and then uh, things end up like this. And here are my blues. There's another carandash here, and here too. One. And then the last one is here, the darker blues and the purples. Now I have some room left and I'm quite sure that those slots will be filled. I'm pretty sure there are more colors coming. And here I have this... Um, I don't know how you call this in English, this uh, mathematical device. We call it a geodriehoek, a geo triangle, but I'm sure this will uh, have a completely different name in English. And I'm using this for, um, uh, yeah, oh, for um, the video on the color wheel. I use this one to make the color wheel. Very handy. And normally I also have a small sketchbook here. But I took it out because I'm currently using another type of uh, sketching paper. So. So. When I close it, you can see that they're in the front. There is another uh, small area, but I'm not using it right now. And um, you can bring those two together. You can also add a shoulder strap to it. I have it somewhere, it comes with the bag, but I'm not using it. So, um, this is my carry-all bag, and uh, the only downside about it is that the stitching isn't uh, that strong on some areas, but other than that, this is absolutely a great way to store your your pencils.